My name is Dave Gilboa, uh, co-founder and co-CEO of Warby Parker. I'm Neil Blumenthal, uh, co-founder and co-CEO of Warby Parker. Warby Parker just took off like a rocket ship. We hit our first year sales targets in three weeks, sold out of our top 15 styles in four weeks, had a wait list of 20,000 people. We were completely overwhelmed. We were full-time students and we didn't have any employees. We didn't have an office. We were working out of our apartments and we'd worked so hard to get our website up that I think naively we thought once it was up, we could relax a little bit um, and all of a sudden just orders started pouring in. It was just mayhem. We basically had to stop going to class so that way we could answer customer calls, respond to customer emails. We didn't even have sold out functionality on the website. <laughs> so one of the first calls, Dave calls our developers like, we got to figure this out. We made a decision early on that we were going to be transparent with our customers and actually explain to them what's going on. That we were really sorry, but we've ran out of inventory. A core tenant of ours is just to always be truthful and honest. And if you do that, hopefully, you know, customers will like it and sort of be grateful for that. I think we learned two important lessons right around launch. One is that if you treat customers well, good things will happen. We personally reached out to every one of those customers and we gave away a lot of free glasses for people if we messed up their order or kept them waiting for a certain amount of time. If you're just honest and transparent with customers and show them that you care, that goes a really long way. And the second thing was just the power of serendipity and good luck. One of our first customers called in. We had taken about three weeks to get him his glasses. And at the time, our customer service line just went directly to all the four founder cell phones. Whoever would answer first got the customer. <laughs> and our co-founder, Jeff, picked up the phone and he profusely apologized and said, we're overwhelmed by demand. We'll give you a free pair of glasses. Go to our website, pick out another pair. We'll send that for free. I'll package it myself and send it out tomorrow. And he said, well, it sounds like you're having some logistics problems. Maybe I can help. I'm the CEO of a publicly traded logistics company. And uh, the next week, they were our uh, logistics partner. And we still work with them today, where they handle all our logistics.